All right, I'm going to show y'all something that might, if you're having these problems, might save you some money. Because if I would have known this shit, uh, it sure the hell would have saved me some money. And this happened a couple weeks ago. When I was out in uh, the Seattle area, but I've had a lot of shit going on, and I just, uh, God, look at all this, look at all this fucking junk in here, y'all, would you? But this is all shit I use, man. I mean, it really is. At one point or another, I use all this shit. You know? My fucking knee pads where I got the because I've been dealing with two bulging discs for I don't know since the summer of uh, 2016 so I got to get my fat ass on my knees to roll up tarps now but hey it is what it is but I got more fucking shit in here than Fred Sanford's got in his damn yard I mean we're talking back on in there as a toolbox a damn uh, 20 volt impact, a grinder, all kind of bullshit. But, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, right here in my hand. Duh, motherfucker. Uh, back in, uh, back a couple, back a couple weeks ago, I got out by Seattle. <clears throat> And uh, on the well, on the way, on the way out of Irvine, Texas, up to uh, Centralia, Washington, my Jake brakes was wanting to work whenever they wanted to. The motherfuckers had a mind of their own, you know. And it had been going on a couple months, actually. Um, they they just fucking take a notion to work whenever they wanted to work could not bump my high idle up you know couldn't bump your idle up you could it would do it would high idle for maybe like 30 seconds and then bah it cut it you know drop back down to 600 rpm i'm like man what in the fuck well i got to googling and, and talking with a couple buddies this that and the other and uh thought it might have been the clutch switch so I replaced the clutch switch. This little bastard right here, it's got the little spring on the end of it, which is uh, kind of a pain in the dick to uh, change out. Cause you gotta take the top step off, you gotta take this piece off. And uh, obviously right there, you see where that plug plugs in. And then your clutch switch is, is right up under here. Okay, and then that spring, of course, goes to your uh, goes to your clutch uh, down under here, and uh, just a pain in the dick, man. Especially if you got, you know, especially if you got big fucking dick beaters, you ain't got no room to do nothing with up under there. So anyway, I replaced that. I think this was two hundred eighty bucks. What in the fucking problem? Like you gotta be shitting me. Well, talked with a couple more buddies, and uh, googling some shit, you know. Uh, at that point, I thought it might have been the um, throttle positioning sensor, which is on the. Uh, flip your 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 fuel your gas pedal over and you got this got this module here and then of course your little pigtail you know that's your throttle positioning sensor I thought it might have been that that wasn't it I changed that out in Seattle actually that wasn't it that that was 140 bucks so now we're at 280 
for this cocksucker. Which actually, the dude at uh, Dallas Peterbilt gave me a deal. It was, fuck, I want to say 350. Three something. And uh, he told me, he said, I can, I can give it to you for 280 out the door. I said, sold. So anyway, that wasn't it. Throttle the positioning sensor, that wasn't it. <clears throat> Let me show y'all what it was. This, this, this set of uh, double plugs right here, this back set, which controls all your shit in the truck. Your switches, your, 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 um, your crews, your jakes, all that kind of shit right there. And I think he said it was a four millimeter Allen wrench. But anyway, this motherfucking bolt, this little bolt in here, was loose and was not allowing you know a good solid contact between the the plug and the fucking uh the ecm so it was like three hours in the shop to find out all that needed to be done was that motherfucker tightened up that fucking bolt and that plug and that ECM tightened up. And not to mention some dickhead painted over the prongs inside the ECM. The guy said it had red paint all over them. So I guess whenever they done the fucking uh I guess whenever they done the in frame, the stupid bastards painted over the painted over the prongs. Uh so the mechanic, you know, he cleaned them off the best that he could without without damaging them or you know and plugged it back in and tightened it down good and guess what we got cruise um got jake brake like you got to be fucking kidding and that bill uh to do that shit that was 539 dollars so we're at 280 for the clutch switch with a discount. Like I said, it was three something. The guy gave me, it was like 70 bucks off. So it must have been about 320 or 330 originally. So we're looking at, anyway, we're looking at 280 for the clutch switch, 140 for the um, throttle positioning sensor. What is that? 280 plus. 140. Uh, plus that's close to four hundred dollars. Twelve, be like four twenty, whatever. Four twenty! Woohoo! Hell yeah, four twenty, baby. So plus the five thirty-nine for for the uh, for the bill at the at the Peterbilt in Seattle. So you're looking at fucking nine hundred dollars, man. Nine hundred fucking dollars. When when really all all the only thing was wrong was a bolt was not fucking tight enough. I, I didn't think the that that was the deal, you know. For fuck's sakes, if I would have thought that was the deal with it, well then I'd have tightened the motherfucker down and saved nine hundred dollars. So, moral of this story is if you run into an issue where your jakes or your cruise control uh, quits working before you go to doing what I did like a modern day quote unquote diesel mechanic and start changing fucking parts out Check and make sure that that back double set of plugs on your ECM, check and make sure that motherfucker's tight and making a good connection and that little tiny bolt in there is tight. Because, uh, God almighty, bro. That's basically a $1,000 motherfucking lesson, man. 
And uh, if I could pass that along and save another driver 900 bucks or a thousand bucks, well then that's a good deal. I guess that is all. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I'm gonna fix the stretch out. I done ate about seven fucking tacos from Taco Bell. I'm gonna fix the stretch out. Oh, and don't, come on people, don't be, don't start the seven tacos, Jesus Christ. There ain't that much, boy, it, it ain't that much in a fucking taco, you know? <laughs> Especially from Taco Bell, I mean, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Uh, I don't give a fuck anyway, right? It's all good. All right, y'all be careful. And uh hope everybody's having a good weekend. And, and for Pete's sake, I hope ain't nobody sick. <laughs> Tenfold, we'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>